Hello, welcome to Formed. My name is Dr. Ben Akers. I'm the Executive Director of Formed, and joining me is Taylor Kemp, who is the Platform Manager for Formed. And we want to take a couple of moments and tell you about what our plan is for Formed, to help you get the most out of Formed this Lent. So we did some things before Lent started, mm -hmm. kind of pre-gaming Lent a little bit. Do you want to share what those were? Yeah, so we have a lot going on on Formed that we're very excited about. Um, we have a couple series that have ran and they've aired, but you can go back and view them. Uh, some of the ones that we, we did is we... Ben and I did a four-part series on evangelizing millennials. So it's really a series that it's about mission, evangelization, and especially how can you uh, approach the millennial generation, which is my generation. We did a five-part Bible study on the luminous mysteries of the rosary. Uh, really, the hope with this was to provide some reflection material for when you're praying the rosary, you can be drawn deeper into the mysteries. Mm -hmm. Uh, we have two series, uh, well, three episodes total on the sacraments that you did with Father Maloney. I did one of them. Uh, the first one is how to make a good confession. Uh, Lent is such a great period of confession. So how can we make a good confession? And then how can we receive communion well? Um, and then the last one is, uh, Ben, you did a, a series with Dr. Christopher Bloom on St. Francis de Sales. Did you want to say a couple things Yeah, we did. That? We had a conversation about four characteristics that are found in the introduction to the devout life, that spiritual classic about four essential characteristics of a Christian. Mm -hmm. And we put PDFs that were edited by Dr. Bloom on the description. So if you want to follow along, you can read along. And uh, we talked about the importance of attentiveness in prayer, about devotion, about obedience, about humility, and about courage as well, something that we need today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that, that was our pre-Lent plan. We've All of those are ready. You can go view them now. You can find them on form. So just type in some of these titles and you can find them. So uh, let's turn to Lent. It's such a great season. Uh, what, what do we have for Lent this so year? So we kicked off Lent with a conversation between Dr. Klein and myself of making a plan, the Whole40, uh, a play on the name of the Whole30, which is an elimination diet for you know health and freedom. Uh, and we talked about the importance of being free from sin and having a spiritual plan and spiritual health. So uh, that'll give you some uh, tips on how to make a plan for Lent. And one of the things that we're also going to see as you go through Lent is that we have a, a, a bunch of series that we're starting. So on Mondays, Father Maloney and I, who's a professor here at the Augustine Institute, are going to go through a book called I Thirst, 40 Days with Mother Teresa. You can find that on Catholic Market. And so each week we're going to have seven sessions. We're going to follow each of the breaks as it goes through the text. So if you like to pray for, with Mother Teresa, um, and we'll talk about some of the theology and the, the spiritual riches that we find uh, in this text. Yeah, I mean, it's an unbelievable book. You can find it on Catholic Market. We have a link in the description for how you can purchase that book, but it's it's a great book, and then it's a real it, it's a privilege to have a scholar and then a priest uh, help us kind of go through that. So I'm going to personally go through it, and I we know a lot of other people are too, so that's exciting. On uh, Tuesdays, you're going to see the regular Augustine Institute show with Dr. Tim Gray. Mm -hmm. If you haven't checked it out, it's a live show. It's 7 o'clock Eastern time where Dr. Gray is in a studio. We're in the control room right now. You can see over our shoulders the actual studio where the set where they filmed the show. And um, it's a call-in show. You can text in your questions. And he has a special guest each week. Um, look for guests that uh, some of that you know, like Cardinal Pell, and some that you don't know yet, but you're going to really enjoy talking about important issues to the Christian life. Yep. And then on Wednesdays uh, throughout Lent, we're going to continue with the Matthew Bible study. So join Dr. Gray and Dr. Barber as they continue to journey through the Gospel of Matthew. Uh, quite providentially, this uh, their Bible study will coincide well with Holy Week. They're they're nearing the end of the Gospel, so it's a really beautiful uh, study that it, that just coordinates extremely well with the season of life. It's like a journey with Jesus and the apostles to mm -hmm. the cross at the same time we're doing that liturgically as a church. Mm -hmm. On Thursdays, we're going to be having a conversation. I'm going to host a show where I'm going to be interviewing some couples, some that so you get to see the, the, the wives of some of the professors uh, that we have at the graduate school. And we're going to be talking about living Lent as a family. That's so important is how do we do this as a couple? How do we do this as a family? So we're going to give you some pro tips from some of our in-house um, uh, scholars uh, that teach at the graduate school. Mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to that one personally because I have a seven-month-old, so we've never had to live Lent liturgically with kids. Don't worry, so she will pick the Lent for you. She'll keep you up <laughs> yeah, at night. That's that's, true. You're going to have Lent. You're going to give me ideas on how to, how to handle that well. Um, and then lastly, on Fridays, uh, we're very excited in the year of St. Joseph to offer a four-part four series on St. Joseph with Ben and I, uh, touching on four major titles of St. Joseph and just how he can be such a... The church seems to be lifting him up and presenting him to the faithful as someone we really should turn to today. So we want to take up that challenge and really uh, go to the to the the father that the father chose for his son, Jesus, um, and, and learn how can we draw closer to him, how can we be more like him, um, and spend spend some weeks throughout Lent with this 
this holy earthly father of Jesus. Last, I just want to mention that on form, we've also put a Lenten stripe. There's so much more than just what we're talking about now that's on form. So on the Lent stripe, you're going to find movies. You're going to have programs that are geared towards children that are themed on Lenten themes. Uh, you can find rosaries. You can find divine mercy chaplets, stations of the cross. So there's lots of great devotions that you will also find on form. And I just encourage you to take up the challenge and uh, maybe give up secular shows and, and dive deeply into form that we have movies. We have eBooks. If you like to, uh, to read, uh, electronic books, if you like audiobooks, we have those and on online as well and audio dramas. Mm -hmm. So there's so much on formed. Yep. And then just the last thing is we have, as always, our daily Lenten reflections with Dr. Tim Gray. You can sign up for those at form.org forward slash Lent. Uh, Dr. Gray goes through the readings of the day every day. Uh, he, he minds them. He gives you spiritual insights and action points. So we invite you to sign up for those as well. Thanks for your attention and may you have a blessed Lent.